Hello. We will continue designing form in this lecture. In the previous lecture, my display scaling was set to 250%. So, the display does not fit. Now I set my display scaling to 175%. You can change the scaling by right click on desktop. Select display settings. I adjusted to 175% instead of 250%. The text is now smaller, but it will show the correct scale for our design. It looks almost the same now. Now we will add control starting by grouping. A group for text box. A group for data grid view. Maybe another group for data searching. You can use either group box or panel. I will teach how to use a group box in this lecture. Type in group box in the toolbox. And paste. I will create two group box now. Group box 1 and group box 2. Arrange the group box as you like. You can adjust group box background color. Go to properties window. Scroll down to back color. I'll use powder blue. For the group box 2, I'll use light pink. Maybe pink is better. Adjust the space for control inputs. I'll change the text of group box 1 to employee info. This will include employee ID, names as we have created for employee database. Add a label control. Add a text box control. Expand the text box and copy. Just use Ctrl C and Ctrl V. I'll make six copies. The first one is for auto ID. Second is first name. Third is last name. Fourth is email. Fifth is job title. The last one is phone. Make changes in the properties window. Change text accordingly. After correcting properties text, adjust text size. Entitle the text box controls according to your data usage. You don't need to change label properties name. We will apply command to text box, so we need to give them the correct name. First one is, auto ID text box. Second is first name text box. Third is last name text box. Fourth is email text box. Fifth is job title text box. Last is phone text box. Set properties for auto ID to not allow change.
set read only as true. The user cannot make changes here. The ID will run automatically. You can delete auto ID text box to avoid any user making changes. I put it here for your education purpose. Make sure you change the name for all text box controls. Next, I will arrange text box to look more beautiful. Test to see space between each text box. The first three text box are too close. Use select all and arrow to adjust the space. That's okay for now. You can also move group box by select all and pull down. The group box is close to the top edge. We need to pull down. Now you have the section employee data. We need department data. We will use combo box. Combo box will refer to ID. Because employee table and department table are linked by department ID. Copy and paste. Change properties text to department. Change the name of combo box to division combo box or department combo box. Move on to group box 2. Set text properties to employee list. This will show all employee when you select from data grid view. The data will display in employee info. It will display information of selected employee. Now, we are adding the data grid view. Click to hold, and drag here. Adjust the position. Look at the triangle on the top right corner. Click for options. Unclick, enable adding. Enable editing. Enable deleting. Set dock and parent container to enlarge the box to fit group box 2. Change background color. I'll use window color. Expand the form to see your design. If you want to expand data grid view, you have to expand group box too. They will expand together. Set value for group box 2. Select anchor to all edges. Top, bottom, left, right. Expand the form again to see your design. Let me maximize the screen. You see data grid view is now expanded. Because we allow anchor for group box 2. Adjust the layouts as you like. So now, we have employee data and department data. I'm adding another group box. Copy group box 1, and paste underneath. Clear data for new group box. Change properties text to, advanced, search. 
to set value in searching. For example, search by ID, or search by department name. We will add a control called, radio button. Add to. Copy combo box from group box 1, and paste below. Change radio button 1 to, find by ID radio button. Set text properties to, find employee by ID only. So, you can only search by auto ID here. Radio button 2 will be changed to, find by division radio button. Set text value to, find employee by department. Change the name of combo box as well. Change to, find by division combo box. We are now working on group box 3. The third group box is for searching option. Click start to see your design. You can choose only one radio button. Either to search by employee ID, or department name. We will need to put codes in for these controls. We have search option now. We need a text box to search information. Copy text box. Add a new button. Change name to, keyword text box. Change the button name to, search button. Set properties text value to, search. We can use an icon here. I'm using PNG image. Click OK. Change properties from overlay to image before text. Adjust the size as you like. You can also expand keyword text box. Minus 20. Test to see your design. You can set size value by putting a number. Try 80. Seventy. Adjust till you see fit. Use the arrow to move position. This button is for searching. The data will display in the data grid view. And the employee data will display on group box 1.
Maximize window to overview. Adjust as you see fit. This looks more professional when search button is added. Use image for the button to be user friendly. Okay. This is all for this lecture. See you in the next lecture. Thank you very much.